Hello everyone, Neil Tappen here from Golf Monthly and in this video we are going to take a look at some of the new rules of golf that are coming into play from the 1st of January 2019. Uh, I've got two rules books in my hand here, there's the big version and then there's the players edition here that you'll be able to uh, pick up and this is the one that you're probably more likely to, to come into contact with and it has all of those new rules very clearly labelled here and it has been, as I'm sure you know, a big change for the RNA and the USGA. They've looked at golf, how can they speed it up, how can they make it as fair as possible in the modern world and they've come up with a whole host of new conclusions and one of which uh, revolves around putting with the flag stick in. So if you go get your rules book you go to rule number 13 which relates to uh, things that happen on the green and you'll find that putting with the flag stick in is, is referred to in there. Now you, uh, from 2019 you have all options open to you. You can putt with the flag out, you can putt with it in and you can putt with it attended. Um, however from 2019 you will not get a penalty. If you hit a putt on the green and the flag is in the hole and it hits that flag, you will no longer have a two-shot penalty. This is all done really for a couple of different reasons. Firstly, to speed play up. One of the biggest concerns is the amount of time it takes to play golf. If you play golf regularly, I'm sure you know that. Uh, so the RNA and USGA are trying to do what they can to speed things up. But also, if you think about it, Attending the flag does cause a little bit of an issue in terms of the condition of the green, specifically around the hole. And if you can take away that person standing there holding the flag, then it, it's surely going to make a difference to the quality of the putting services. Uh, rule number 13, if you're interested, it's page 72 in the little player's edition here, revolves around uh, leaving the flag stick in when you're on the green. Now, it does get quite complicated in terms of removing the flag while it's in motion. But as I said, you've got all three options open to you. Our advice would be to ensure that, make it clear what you're going to do from the word go and then stick to it. So if you're going to take the flag out, fine, take it out, put it to one side, make sure it doesn't come into play, that's fine. If you're going to leave it in, tell your partners just that you're going to putt with it in and leave it in. Don't suddenly, as the ball's on the way to the hole, suddenly take the flag out. Alternatively, don't put it back in while the ball is in motion. That seems like a bad idea. You can have it attended, although I have to say that with the new rules of golf in play, I don't really see what the advantage is to having the flag attended for you, but you can do it. And of course, there is a second part to this, which is the performance element. Is there an advantage to be gained by putting with the flag stick in? And that's what we're going to take a look at now. Now, there have been some interesting developments on this front. So Bryson DeChambeau recently told a group of uh, journalists at a press conference that he was definitely going to putt with the flag in in 2019 because he felt like there was an advantage to be had that more often than not the ball if it hits the flag is likely to drop into the hole also that it possibly gives you a better depth perception so it might help you get the ball closer to the flag when you're putting from further away he did add the proviso that it depends on the coefficient of restitution of the flag Bryson DeChambeau is, as he's known, the scientist of the golfing world. Uh, he, he wants to make sure that if he leaves the flag in, that the ball isn't going to hit the flag and ricochet out. And there are some times where the flag has a higher coefficient of restitution, is more likely to ping the ball out. One thing I will say is that if you do putt on, uh, if your home club has metallic, I think there, there are a few golf clubs out there with metallic flag poles. I suspect it's more likely the ball will ping out. And that's what he's referring to there at the US Open. They have different flag poles and uh, he thinks that's more likely to ping the ball out. Otherwise, he's going to putt with the flag in. So over the next couple of hours, myself and Mike Harris from Golf Monthly are going to hit a whole host of different putts from long range and from short range with the flag in and the flag out just to see whether there is any uh, uh, performance gain to be had in terms of depth per perception from distance. So is distance distance control a little bit easier with the flag in versus uh, short range. Again, is it easier to putt with the flag in from short range? Is it slightly distracting? Those are some of the questions we're going to look to try and answer now. Let's go and take a look. Okay, so we've reached the end of our very unscientific test, but we did hit a lot of putts from long range 
flag in, flag out, short range did the same thing. And we have come up with a few quite interesting sort of talking points, I guess it is. Uh, what I would say, guys, is if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please do leave them below. We'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. The first thing I'm going to talk about is about the pace of play. We did a couple of little tests just to see how much quicker it was to play, uh, to be able to putt with the flag in. And there are instances where it makes a huge difference. So that one that we've shown where you hit a bunker shot and the, the player on the green needs the flag attended, you've got to hit the bunker shot, especially if you're in a two ball, rake it, get your bag onto the correct side of the green, run onto the green, tend the flag, and then you've got to hit your putt. Putt. When we did it, by the time I hit my putt, I was so sort of frazzled, I hit it in about three seconds. Uh, obviously, the results weren't very good. I reckon we saved the best part of a minute by uh, putting with the flag in. And that, if you think about the cumulative effect of a field of golfers during a, a day on the golf course, can make actually a big, uh, a big difference. And the other point is a hole like this. So this is a par three here at West Hill. It's the fourth hole. So this very, very back flag is playing the best part of 200 yards and the vast majority of players in an amateur field are going to come up 20 or 30 yards short, partly because if you're long, you're absolutely dead. So everyone uh, hits their tee shot and it finishes 40 feet off the front of the green. Everybody needs the flag attended. So one person tends it, they, they do their business, they go back to the ball, then they've got to read their part. The whole thing becomes very slow. And the last point to make about the speed of play is about trolley users. Trolley users do need that few extra seconds to be able to park their trolley on the correct side of the green. If you've got someone with a trolley and someone without, the player without the trolley can just get on with it. A couple of other things that we noticed, putting with the flag in from relatively close range is slightly risky, we think, if it's windy. So it has been fairly windy here today. When we were on the, the second green, quite an exposed part of the golf course, the flag's moving around quite a bit there. I'm not sure you'd really fancy your chances with the flag in. Uh, it could help you, it could hinder you but you certainly don't want to be ridiculously unlucky and I think that could happen. The other thing about uh, the other thing is on a golf course like this in sunny conditions where there's sort of dappled light you've got uh, shadows coming into play having the flag in when you're putting from distance really did make a difference to how clearly you could see the hole. It's one of those things especially if you've got a very long putt, 40 foot putt, you have a couple of practice swings, you look up at the target, you put your head back down and then you have one last look before you go, suddenly you can't see the hole, having the flag in makes a big difference. Obviously we always had the ability to have the flag attended but, for, but now there really is no excuse, just get on with it, hit the putts with the flag in, that will make a big difference. Did it make a big difference to me on long putts to have the flag in? My hunch is that it does make a difference. It does help, it does benefit. But as, as I said earlier, this was a very unscientific test, so I couldn't give you any kind of certainty on that front. One thing I did think was that it was slightly distracting to putt from close in. Mike felt the opposite, Mike Harris thought the opposite. He was quite happy putting from uh, close in with the flag in. It does give you something very definitive to aim at. So often the top 25 coaches that we work with at Golf Monthly will say, you've got to pick a very precise spot putt to that spot and that will mean that you're if you aim small you miss small if you aim big you miss big that sort of theory with the flag in that can make a difference uh, the last thing that we did was we had a, a little test putting at, from close range hitting the putts very very firmly at the flag to see how often they bounced out and we discovered that you have to hit the putts incredibly firmly for the flag to really make a big difference so that's really all that we've got to say on that front. What I would say is uh, familiarise yourself with the rule. G grab a copy of the 2019 player's version of that rules book. It's really simple, it's really small, it fits inside your golf bag. Do pick up a copy and familiarise yourself with the rules. It's well worth doing. And then when it comes to the flag stick, as we said at the beginning, make your decision and make it clear to those that you're playing with and then just don't change your mind halfway through the putt making its way towards the hole. It might be one of those things that you tell your playing partners on the first tee, you know what, from 20, outside 20 feet, I'm more than happy to have the flag in and that will certainly help speed things up and it might just help you save a few shots. Uh, guys, as I said earlier, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave comments below. But for now, from West Hill, it's goodbye.